Alright, Rax Maddox, glad to be back. How are you guys doing tonight?
the set list. Whoever comes out the set list counts as the band leader. Yeah, so we're gonna, you know, let's meet backstage here as you see in about 15 minutes before we go on. Right, I'm gonna grab some drugs. <laughs> into a whole different world to create a whole atmosphere with our, with our, with our, with our production. production. Yeah. I got a couple of white shirts. I'm not yeah. really sure. Chris this looks great. What to wear? Yeah. The skinny tie is perfect. Yeah. yeah. I have like a white color. They leave to my girlfriend. Yeah. 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 Requirement for uh for outfits. There yeah, was, oh yeah. There's a theme. There's a theme. theme. What's the theme? theme? The theme is black and white. Okay. White with black. a splash of black. I'm going. Black. I'm adding some gold. These are my. This is shoes. My tie. My shoes. Unless I wear pants. Oh, you're gonna be great. Shorts. Yeah. You're gonna be good to go. Ain't got nothing to prove. See, I never need I never need to warm up my actual guitar before a show. No, because if you look this good, nobody cares how you sound. <laughs> you know the best part about this band is that it's all good vibes, man. Like all of it, it's just 100% good vibes. Like that, you know? Doesn't like no fucks.
skin in. No. <laughs> Tell me, Adrian, what was the first thing that went through your mind when New Mo's contacted you and said, we got a show? I was like, ooh, we're still retired. <laughs> we're not officially active, yeah. but... And then I looked at the date, I'm like, it's a Saturday, that's cool. And, uh, you know, opening for a band that we all really like, Youngblood, Brass Band, I'm like, you know, this might work. Oh, if, I can, if people are available, they, maybe we'll do it. That's what I thought. I'm like, oh, we're retired, but hey, we're free. Turns out everybody was free. Yeah. Um, and then it turned out Dylan wasn't free. And then it turned out Vanjie had tendonitis. <laughs> but that's okay, because we got Mickey, the all-star here, the singer with Soul Senate, on drums tonight, so that's fantastic. And we got the Zab, Michael Zabrick, on keyboards, who's played with the Braxmatics two times before, so we knew he could fit the bill, and he's been sounding great lately. So I was like, yeah, we're going to do it. Big smile. <laughs> yes. They're ready. The lipstick accentuates it. It's <laughs> yeah. true. Have you played any shows since the baby with any bands? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah. We had one Smoke and Honey show. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was it was tough because yeah, it was just hard. Yeah. 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 It's hard now. I was even like getting anxious coming down here. I mean, I. It's not like she hasn't been left with family a bunch before, but okay. I don't know. More anxious about the baby than about the show? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Way more on the line when it comes to small children yeah, it's than, true. than it's party true. ass funk shows. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> Thank you. 
What do you call yourselves? The Braxmatics. No, I know that. There's another name for you, the girls, the dancers. The AB girls? The AB girls. Yes. Well, because we're all A's, okay. so it goes Adrian, Amber, Aina, Anna. Okay. So AB. Yeah. Braxton. So A mm -hmm. plus B. Plus, Amber and I were thinking that it was like the AB basics. Like, you start with your basics like and then you move up. Right? Yeah. So the AB girls was kind of, did you come up with that? No, you guys did. We did, didn't we? You? you don't even need a C. When you got no. the AB girls, uh, you don't need C. Is this AB? You, you will see. You will see. AB girls, you will see. D as in don't deny. Whose yeah. idea was it to have you start dancing? Uh, mine. Yours? Yes. Yeah, I used to go to Adrian's shows all the time and listen to his music and hang out. And yeah, we grew up. And we would just dance. Dancing. Our I would dance my ass off, and I was always like, man. Somehow, sometime it clicked, um, and I was like, man, I should just choreograph some songs and like do that. Mm -hmm. um, Amber and I both started dancing when we were babies and have danced and performed our whole lives. But we'd all, and we had done certain stuff together as a, as kids, but never when we kind of did, when Adrian started doing his funk music and stuff, it was all just him. And then I said it to him and Melissa at a dinner party and they were like, yeah. But it was still like another year before yeah. it actually materialized. <laughs> Was it 
Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. We performed with our cousin because oh, we keep it in the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I remember. What's your cousin's project or whatever? Hella Maze. He's a, a rapper and hip hop artist. Okay. In Seattle. in Seattle, he's amazing. So we went and did a show um, at Nectar with him, and that was really fun. Cool. We got to do like whole different type of style and genre of music. Um, it was really good. Work with different artists. What What does today mean to you guys? Like. Today feels like a test drive. <laughs> At like what could be mm-hmm. again, um, you know. Both of us, we 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 both have kids. Yeah. So we've always been kind of performers and parents. Yeah. Um, but our kids are older mm-hmm. than their baby, and so it does take a shift. You have to kind of a, a adjust. Yeah. Um, and I think they're still in an adjustment phase. So I think today feels like a a really exciting test drive, like yeah. test driving a Porsche, because this is a great venue to play at. Um, but it's a test drive. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are excited to get back on the stage. Yes. 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 What, when did uh, Adrian like? Did he call you or text you and say, "Hey, we're playing a show"? He texts everybody and was like, "Hey, could you do this?" Okay. You know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think I might have been the first one to respond, and I was like, "Yes." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy as hell, but I'll make it work. Yeah. Awesome. Because you don't say no to that. You just say yes, and you make it work. You know? Mm-hmm. You just make it work. I know. Go on faith. <laughs> I know. Crazy brass funk pop to me.
and clock the grip. Stay tuned, everybody. Breaks and Swells is up next. Young Blood Brass Band tonight. We got one more for you, everybody. Yeah. You saw the whole crowd just started to swing. Like, uh, they were all just like, woo! That's the thing woo, about that song. It doesn't make woo. a whole lot of sense in the beginning, but it makes yeah. a ton of fucking sense again. <laughs> <in the beginning. laughs> you know? You can just like, oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that was exhilarating. That was a blast. Yeah. I never, uh, Numos really came through for us. Yeah. Dude, there was a lot of people out there. I didn't know it was going to be like that. And, uh, yes, I'm glad it was just so much fun. Yeah. Most fun I've ever had. Sounded great, dude. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah you're always futzing with your guitar. You're always futzing with your tone and all that I stuff. I just want to say, yeah. sorry to interrupt. No, it's like, got, wait, are you, like, it, interviewing? Yeah, kind of. You can be a part of it. How about I'm, like, the fan that comes up and says how awesome you are? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Show, I'll find out what it is. Right, well, thanks for the good word, sister. Oh, I had so much to say before the show, but now I left it all on the stage. That Zim, you know, that's what you got to do. I remember the the last football game I played in high school as a senior, and it was a playoff game, and we were losing at halftime by like 25 points. And I realized at that half, I'm like, wait, this is the last game I'm ever going to play as a football player. And it was that last half of the last game that I started really hitting people. <laughs> like, all out. Like, I was so mad that we were, I was take, I was blasting linemen. I was knocking them on their ass. And I'm like, oh my God, it took me this long playing football to finally figure out you got to go completely aggressive, balls to the wall every time. And I didn't figure out to the very end. Well, it prepared me for music. <laughs> because now, that's what we do. I just do, I put it all on the stage. I don't save anything for after. And that's the way it goes. Sometimes you knock it out of the park. Sometimes you KO. That happens too. Sometimes you, you K, you strike out. That happens. But it's all good because if you swing for the fences most of the time and you practice a lot, eventually you can hit a lot more homers than you will strike. So, at least that's a philosophy. Thanks, <laughs> Zim. Breaks and swells, you make an outstanding music. It's so nice to be back in less than the eight year gap between the previous show and the one before that. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, we're still calling y'all Blood Brass Band, and we'd still like to try and make you dance.